ओके दोस्तों नमस्ते आज आप सुसिया काल दिस इज सीएस अंकल कांस्टिया एंड आई वेलकम ईच वन ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन ऑन एडवांस स्ट्रेटजिक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट आई यू एक्साइटेड टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू देन लेट द गेम बिगिन सो गाइस वी आर एंटरिंग इनटू दिस न्यू वर्ल्ड एंड आई वांट टू वेलकम ईच वन ऑफ यू ऑलराइट गाइस आर यू एक्साइटेड एवरीबॉडी प्लीज कंफर्म द ऑडियो वीडियो द लाइव स्टूडेंट स्पेशली एंड स्पेशल रीडिंग्स टू माय uh google drive students as well let's have a beautiful journey filled with a lot of uh, excitement lot of new learnings for you for me and let's make it a very memorable batch a very good batch as well all right guys so uh please confirm the audio and the video the live students and once you confirm this we will get things started okay yes please tell me You just have to say, A V proper or not. Sure. So first things, let us understand something about me, because the next so many hours you are going to be with me. So you should know, no, whom are you talking to? So myself, C A C S Sankalp Kanstia. By profession, I am a chartered accountant and a company secretary, and uh, I have worked. with a financial based company world's one of the biggest financial based company for a span of approximately 4 and a half to 5 years so the things that i have learned in my practical life is what i will be applying here as well so uh, i cleared my ca probably when i was around 22 uh, born and brought up in mumbai studied in a college called as narsi monji college which is again from mumbai i cleared both the ca and cs and then joined jp morgan i worked there in their asset management and financial due diligence team and had a very nice experience and those are the experience which i am going to share with you when i am going to teach you this subject are you excited for the same yes <coughs> so uh once i cleared my ca <coughs> had option of joining big four or the other option of joining a, a financial based company basically joining the industry now when i connect the dots i feel so happy to join a financial based company for a simple reason that now i am also teaching the same things to you because if i would have joined a a big four then i don't think so my knowledge of finance would have been as good as what it is now so as as they say connecting the dots you never know what things are going to help you in the future so you have to enjoy the process you have to enjoy the present eventually future takes care of yourself if you crib or if you are not uh, you know really happy about the present obviously the future will never be work out the way you want it to be so live in the present be 100% there and give your 100% to the present that that's just a thing which i always uh, feel and tell all my students because as students we have a lot of tensions in our head isn't it the article shape the pressure of clearing chartered accountancy the pressure of rising age the pressure of parents and family and friends and relatives and everything in that what happens a lot of times is we tend to you know our mind tends to deviate somewhere else but my clear suggestion be whatever you are at 100% at the moment give your best and i'm sure things will always work out the way you want it to be now coming back to the world of financial management so i had a six rounds of interview in jp morgan when i cleared my chartered accountancy examination and trust me those six rounds are even clear in my head right now probably when we move on with the lecture some day i will share with you what was asked in those six rounds and how uh, did it all the interview went and uh, i'm sure it will be a fulfilling experience to hear as you will also be facing such kind of interviews when you become professionals now coming back to our paper and that is paper to afm especially if i speak of final students so what is going to be our portion how are we going to approach it today's lecture is going to be very light and uh, we'll keep it very short also i'll just discuss today as to 
one what exactly is our portion what is going to be my approach to manage this portion what are the books that we are going to take what are the lectures that we are you know how is the lectures approach going to be all of that is going to be discussed in today's session but the sessions will only be fruitful if it is a two way communication you know if it is just going to be i am coming here uh, taking the lecture and going then in that case it is not going to be of any use so i want each one of you to be totally totally communicative especially the live students even the google drive students will be communicative with me because i will be sharing my whatsapp number to you so you can also share your thoughts as regards the sessions and topics going on so let's start on that note first thing that i want to know how many of you are doing this subject for the first time or is it that you have uh, studied it and doing it again or what is it anyways i am going to teach you from the basics so you need not worry i am going to teach this subject such that even if your parents who will not be connected to the financial field even if they attend this lecture i assure you they will also be able to understand each and everything but for that just asking you out of uh, curiosity how many of you are doing this subject for the first time you have no idea at all uh, of this subject or you know and you know it's just a brush up that you are doing if if you can tell me first time first time okay great great so basically you want me to teach from the basics am i right sir great okay okay first time so majority of you all are first timers so that's great to know so first thing that you should know is what exactly is in your portion and that's what i write here paper 2 afm let's understand the proper portion i have personally divided this portion into four phases okay very strategically very smartly i have done this and for you from now on you will also understand this subject as a part of four phases only so if your friends ask or if you are ever communicating regarding this subject you always have to communicate how that oh on which phase are you which is the first phase which is the second phase and all of that so i have divided the whole portion into four phases let's try and understand what exactly are we going to do in each of the phases first is phase 1 and what is this phase 1 this phase 1 is called as mutual funds portfolio management i will also tell you the logic behind keeping this whole concept and the third is valuation of security all right guys this is the first phase so these are the three chapters which are a part of phase 1 then comes phase 2 wow this phase is danger so i will I write it in red forex ah derivatives my favorites okay so forex then we have derivatives ifm which is also called as international financial management and then we have interest rate risk management then we have phase 3 in phase 3 we will be doing topics like mergers and acquisitions okay then there is going to be advanced capital budgeting which was introduced by icai only in this new uh, uh, training session also called as acb and the third is business valuation also called as corporate valuation okay and the last phase i have devoted for our theory so this is going to be your phase 4 which consists of all theory chapter so this is the theory wala phase 
what are the chapters that we are going to cover here first is going to be securitization then is going to be risk management then we have startup finance security analysis i hope you are able to understand my handwriting if not let me know security analysis and then financial policy and strategy financial policy and corporate strategy so you can just write here and strategy so these are the securitization risk management startup finance security analysis and financial policy and strategy now why have sir divided this into four phases the answer is very clear because this is how institute is going to ask you so phase 1 will be asked for approximately 25 to 30% see if you know with with options the paper is approximately of 114 to 120 marks with option so phase 1 25 to 30 marks phase 2 same 25 to 30 marks so 25 to 30 i'll not here say here a uh, percent i'll write here marks so phase 1 will be approximately yeah there will be times when a uh, up little bit up and down will be there so uh, you know just don't think that exact it is going to be this way but approximately this is going to be our approach why because when we complete phase 1 you can very you know easily say that okay phase 1 is completed now i am tension free for my 25 to 30 marks then phase 2 is completed again tension free or my more 25 to 30 marks so this way what is going to happen is we will not even feel a burden of the chapters and at the same time we'll keep on enjoying completing phase by phase also let me tell you the level of difficulties as regards the phases so first phase is basically i'll say a medium difficult level phase 2 as per students not as per me after the sessions and you only tell me whether the phase 2 was difficult for you or it was easy and trust me it is the most interesting phase you are going to love uh, it then there is phase 3 which i will say as average and phase 4 is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy all right guys see as far as i am concerned phase 2 majorly i will be taking live for sure other see as such this is a live plus recorded batch so few lectures will be given to you recorded and few lectures will be live i'll keep a balance of both of them but i will at least try and ensure that at least the easy part will be given to you as recorded the difficult part i will do it in the class for sure live and even if a, a recorded lecture is given to you you need not worry at all because if you have any doubts as regard that i will always be available for you for sure so sir where can we get in touch with you i will let you know everything first write this much down so that you are now clear with all the chapters that we are going to cover in the upcoming two months that we are together for all right guys so please write this much down and let me know done so that i can then move on quickly and anything you want to ask anything you want to comment feel free to do that as well but i can assure you we are going to love each and every bit of this subject done great guys keep on confirming that so that i come to know that yes you are done or not because that will really be helpful to me
चल डन ओके सी नाउ ओके व्हाट आर योर एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम द बैच आई विल लिस्ट इट डाउन यू कैन आल्सो टेल मी इन द कमेंट्स एज अ स्टूडेंट व्हाट आर योर एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम द बैच टेल मी गाइस batch expectations let's do a reverse analysis you know instead of me asking you after the batch completes how was it let's do a pre this is called as feed forward before see when the lectures are done i will take a feedback how are the lectures now we are doing a feed forward what is called as a feed forward it's a new concept feed forward means asking for a feedback before the things are beginning so that i come to know that okay these are your expectations i will try to fulfill majority of them all right guys what say so chalo let let i have my list of batch expectations that i will want to fulfill and deliver it to you but let me also understand from your end uh, let me understand how good are my live batch students in terms of communication and everything so we will be able to connect accordingly what are your batch expectations guys come on so first thing that every student wants and expects is that sir please ensure there is 100% icai coverage isn't it yes so done this is my promise from me to you okay sushil is very smart he has written ensure give give me a 60% in afmc that depends on you i will teach you the best i will give you the best books i will give you everything but in the exam it is you who has to write if you don't attend the lectures regularly if you don't do writing practice as i am saying if you don't do my homework then how will i be able to give you that 60 plus so 60 plus is dependent on you ha huh. what are the resources that you want from me to ensure that you get to that target is what we are discussing brother right okay solving all sums including past questions is what surekha is saying okay proper question solving methodology with practice as per mr suhas okay mr jayant is saying expecting to solve at least one question of each concept in class preferably important ones okay mr jayant got your point others yes okay 100% let me tell you icai coverage and mr jayant at least one question of each concept we will do many questions many examples don't you worry brother so 100% icai coverage now when i say 100% icai coverage i plan to cover module 100% 100% all practical questions of module will be done yes second past paper somebody has written third rtp fourth mtp these are the four most important things in terms of resources that we are going to cover in this batch second if 100% was not enough 200% focus on concept clarity till the time you are not conceptually clear you will not enjoy this subject you will not enjoy my 100% of solving also even if i solve 100% sums but if you are not clear here then it will not be a, a, a really productive thing so even more focus is going to be on conceptual clarity and miss varanya has written the same thing conceptual clarity and tips and techniques to solve all questions in the simplest manner for sure so 200% focus on concept clarity and for that for this to happen for this to happen guys for this to happen i have my unique way i have my unique way of doing things and that is going to be this three step approach before discussing any concept i will discuss a live example with you then from that live example i will connect the concept with you and from that concept we will be solving the practical question and answer that we spoke here if you see icai's paper then in that case you will realize without this you will never be able to score good marks even if you do 100% icai thing this for me is of utmost priority because even if there are some changes in the question you will still be able to manage it if this second point is very clear what are your thoughts right
Yes. Yes. Next point. Third point. Okay. So this is going to be my approach. Always, always for teaching you anything, it will start always with an example. An example which you and me both will be able to connect. Sir, also add some fun. So class isn't boring. So how is it that going to become? Is it going to be through some jokes that you want me to crack? Is it? Okay. 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 So where are, where are you guys from? Tell me also the places from where you are from. I'm assuming that majority of you are from the southern part of India. So please tell me where and how. Because I have a lot of uh, students from south part of India. So definitely. Yeah sir, after pay, seeing paper 6, IBS concept is very important. All concepts are important here. Yes. Okay. Now the third point. Derivation of formulas. There are going to be more than 200 plus formulas in this subject. Do you feel you will be able to mug up all the formulas? It is practically going to be impossible. If you mug up all the formulas, you know what is going to happen? On the exam day, everything will get jumbled up. But if we have derived all the formulas, it is going to be a cakewalk for us. So derivation of formulas is the third point. Okay. Okay, so we have students from Bengaluru, Chennai, Chennai, Yapadarka, Nallarka, Rammanalla, Saptingla, okay, Bangalore, Hagadira, okay, Vishaka Patnam, Maharashtra, Varanya is from Maharashtra, where in Maharashtra, Varanya, Chennai, okay, great, great. So, third point is derivation of formulas. We will try to have it. Guntur, Guntur is again a very nice place. Many students from Guntur. Yes. Derivation of formulas. Fourth thing. Teach from the basics. I will ensure in all my sessions that I teach you from the basics. Even if you have studied this subject first or you are doing it for the first time. Doesn't matter to me. Let me fill the you know whole world of concepts of financial management in a proper manner. So I will be teaching from the basics for sure. Chandrapur. Okay. Karim Nagar. Very nice. Okay. Great. Then revision lectures. At the end of it, when you are going to revise after three months, four months, you should be able to recollect everything. So I will try my best to give you revision sessions or revision lecture of all chapters of all chapters and yes. and we will also be doing mcq along with the chapters along with the chapters what i have done is for mcq specially is i have created a telegram channel i have created a telegram channel through that telegram channel, I usually do the MCQs. So I will share you the link of the telegram channel also. You can join it and the MCQs will be taken care from here. Okay, guys. So any other expectations? This is the major expectations with which we are starting this whole uh, subject. Somebody has said, sir, please keep on joking around. I will do that. Is it? Chalo. Done guys. Test and evaluation. Chalo. Good, good point. We will try. We will try to ensure to have tests on regular basis. Okay. Done. For sure. Chalo. Now, 
this is done this is the batch expectations and i and me uh, and and also 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 one more thing that i want from you all if i am giving you anything for homework please ensure that you are completing it on time for sure if you have any doubts in the homework you can always get in touch with me i will help you for sure but please ensure that homework is being done on time so please ensure this is my expectation from you only one expectation proper completion of homework yeah proper completion of homework okay guys now next thing so today are we going to study anything about specifically afm maybe not today because it's the first session i don't want you to get overburdened with things from the next session for sure we are starting with a new topic so don't worry which is going to be tomorrow only by the way my or our approach to the subject my or our approach to the subject let's start first is going to be the books now this is going to be your uh, friend philosopher and guide after i have taught you all see well, my role is to teach you conceptually make things clear but when you are going to revise it once twice thrice at that point in time the books are going to be your best companion so this has to have a hundred percent coverage this has to have a hundred percent coverage so let me tell you that books covers all concepts with questions and solutions with questions and solutions all right guys in case i am giving you anything for homework then the question will also come with answer then the question will also come with answer so question and answer both will be included now what are the books that you are going to get you are going to get three books first book that you are going to get is called as optimized books this you will get two volumes one is going to be volume one which will have approximately 6 to 7 chap 7 chapters and the volume 2 will also have another remaining chapters then you will also get a magic book this magic book is for your exam time revision so this is going to be your summary book why for the exam time revision the the revision lectures that i usually record are from the magic book but obviously we have to do in the classroom we are going to use the optimized for solving all the question and answers okay guys so this is about the book see i'm just giving you an idea of everything so that before starting the process the warm-up is very crucial so we are done with all of that right next thing that we have in our books okay so i'll just open one of the chapters for you all and this chapter is say mutual funds for example this chapter is mutual funds now the thing once you open the book you will find something called as a study mentor this basically is like a live tracker of how things have worked up this is for your to fill not me also this is going to be very helpful in your paper 6 which is called as ibs why because in ibs uh, you need an index. In this index I have already made here. So say for example, there, there is a question in your uh, IBS relating to say systematic investment plan. So all you have to do is just open this index and once you see uh, this page 14, you can, it's an open book exam. So you can flip to page 14, open the book, write down the answer, done. So this is where 
this study mentor which is a tracker live tracker is going to be very helpful to you how are you going to use it as soon as i am done with any topic or any question and answer you have to tick once what is done now obviously just doing it once is not going to help again you will have to revise it whenever you revise it second time you have to put a tick mark third time fourth time during the exam if you feel that okay i find question number 9 very challenging and you feel that this can come in the exam or i have marked it as very very important then you can highlight this on the day of examination all you have to do is just open this tracker the highlighted questions just go to those questions page number 24 solve it and you are through so this is where this is going to be helpful even till the end of the examinations all right guys and as you can see here at the top as you can see here at the top these are the five things that we have if you want to clear your exam in the first attempt then please do it thrice so there should be three ticks at least in all this somebody said that i want to secure 60 plus okay or a rank also then you should have four ticks and finally expertise level rank 1 to 10 you should have five ticks so now it's up to you which category you want to fall into but for sure see first red tick will come with my lecture so that is done the second third fourth ticks is dependent on your practice the more you do the better marks you will get as simple and clear with that okay so it's all a proportion of your practice and your marks directly proportional simple okay guys so this was your study mentor and a life tracker as well so second thing second thing is study mentor which is nothing but your life tracker life tracker okay done third thing that you are going to see in the book is going to be a preview so this is your study mentor okay guys so till the end how many questions are there say 47 how many times how many ticks are there then then comes your preview what exactly is this preview this gives you an overall idea of what all we are going to do in this subject so just a pictorial idea of introduction to mutual funds how to establish a mutual fund what are the types of mutual funds types of schemes in the mutual fund formulas few classifications everything a preview a birds eye view of the topic all right so it's not that directly we are going to jump into it a birds eye view few formulas are there in the chapter so this is also going to be helpful so see what happens is once i am completed with the chapter second time when you revise you will have this preview available with you once you go through the preview everything you will be able to recollect okay okay this is what we had done in the lectures and then you can start with your typical question answer solving concept solving and formula solving got it guys so this third thing is going to be preview in all the chapters wherein specifically see uh, a basic idea of the chapter what all we are going to cover what all formulas are there in the chapter are also taken here acha everybody so third point is write down preview third point is preview acha okay fourth all the chapters will have theory plus diagrammatic presentation this is theory this is the diagrammatic presentation wherever required what you know what exactly is mutual fund mr rakesh junjunwala is asking i want to invest in share market somebody is saying gold somebody is saying real estate mutual funds will combine all of that so pictorial presentation wherever required what are what is mutual fund what is the cycle of mutual fund and then the theory so theory diagrammatically explain all of that right now what is the benefits and drawbacks in the form of a table so that we are able to connect very very quickly so the next point is the book is going to be a combination of theory plus diagrammatic representation theory plus diagrammatic presentation next practical question and answer 
all are solved. 100% all ICAI covered by default. All ICAI questions covered by default. In fact, much more than that also. So few questions say ICI is given in the module. Say few additional questions maybe from RTP, MTP, past papers. Few of my additional questions. All of that inclusive. If you do the book thoroughly, I don't think so. You need anything else. And the cherry on the cake is going to be the magic book. This magic book is basically the summary book. This magic book is going to be the summary book for your, for your exam day preparation. Only for your exam day preparation. Okay, guys. So, clear with our approach to the subject. Alright. So, this is how your books is going to feature. As I told you, all, there will be practical question and answers. So, see this. Practical question and answers. Here it is. And wherever possible. So, say if example, uh, uh, what is this? This is basic calculation of NAV. If this question has been asked in the exam, so I have written the year, past paper, May 10, May 2014, May 2016, the same question was asked. Alright guys, so this is how the whole subject is going to be worked up. I will request you all to please write this down as well. Done? Okay. Next thing that I want to discuss today is about the paper pattern. What is going to be the paper pattern, sir? Okay. Have a look, have a look, have a look. Okay. So the paper pattern will be divided into two parts. This paper pattern will be divided into two parts. One is called as the MCQ part and the other is called as the descriptive part. Okay. MCQ is going to be 30 marks <coughs> compulsory and there will be options in your descriptive 70 marks. This 30 marks is compulsory and there will be approximately approximately three to four case studies okay of eight to ten marks depends okay of six to ten marks so one case study may be of 10 mark other case study would be of 16 mark a uh, six mark whatever so that depends on ICI per MCQ one to two marks Per MCQ, 1 to 2 marks. So, if you want, we can write here MCQ of 1 or 2 marks. Alright? Okay. Now, the descriptive. Descriptive will consist of question 1 to question 6 of which of which question 1 is going to be compulsory question 1 is going to be compulsory for 14 marks clear everyone then question 2 to question 6. Any 4. Question 2. To question 6. Any 4. And this is going to be. 14 marks. 
मल्टीप्लाई बाय फोर क्वेश्चन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स मार्क्स फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस फोर्टीन सेवेंटी प्लस थर्टी हंड्रेड गॉट इट गाइज बट इन क्वेश्चन टू टू क्वेश्चन सिक्स टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट एनी फोर यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट एनी फोर गॉट इट So please write on the paper pattern as well. Okay, one question just generally I am asking. See, for sure I am going to cover the syllabus that is there hundred percent. Uh, your icai syllabus and question and answers uh, concepts and everything will be covered do you want me also to in between if we have time to connect you to the global financial markets as well that is going to be something additional knowledge for you or you want that no sir just stay restricted to this we are happy with this you can just tell me frankly and honestly you know it should not happen that along with this i teach you some additional things and you are saying oh no no not required you know uh, so that should not happen so just asking you that's the reason i'm conducting this first introduction lecture so that i can catch the vibe of the students uh, so she'll have your friends join is the technical issue resolved okay guys so that's it for today's session so just wanted to give you an idea first sessions introduction is done tomorrow we will start with our first chapter first things and uh, yeah let's do it in the best manner possible let's try to get the maximum marks in this subject and make this as the strongest subject amongst all of that we are going to give let this subject be the subject which pushes us pushes our uh, uh, group overall group 1 group 2 as the case may be all right guys chalo take care and now before signing off before signing off you have to drop me a whatsapp what is that whatsapp on my number 9819201473 you have to give me a manifestation i will score 80 plus marks in AFM or SFM as the case may be, and also write down, also write down your name, location, and batch that you have taken. So batch, if you have taken a say AFM full English, just write down AFM FE. All right. So that the reason of asking you this is so that in the from the first day itself we will get connected. so that in future in case you have any doubts you can directly just drop me a whatsapp i will be able to remember okay this student is connected to me so definitely i will solve your doubts on priority at the same time this is the manifestation that we are taking and hopefully we will secure this and you will send me the result as well all right guys what's it okay Okay guys so time for me to say hasta la vista keep smiling thank you so much take care and waiting for your whatsapps also if possible make this your today's uh you can say a wallpaper or a story or something so that the vibes are clear and the motive is clear to ensure the best in this subject chalo take care okay one more thing all the notes that i am writing here 
will be uploaded in the next day in the Google Drive, which will be sent to you probably in a day or two. And if you are a Google Drive student, you would have already got it. Okay. All the notes that I am writing will be shared to you. All the notes that I am writing will be shared to you on the Google Drive. So there will be a, 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 a folder, handwritten notes. And in that you can access all of this. Okay, guys. Sure. Bye bye. Anything else? You have my WhatsApp number now. We'll stay in touch. Take care. Bye bye. Keep smiling.